Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today's reading is going to be focused on, I, it's your person, their feelings is actually what I have. Um, I was definitely channeling some very indecisive energy towards you, and someone who probably hasn't really made their clear intentions, but we'll see. Um, but this is someone who does uh, think a lot of you. So that's actually what the reading is going to be about. We'll see what we get. Um, I want to thank you again. Thank you for the likes and comments. Also, I have a lot of bookings open. Healing really stands out for cancer right now if you're interested in getting any healings i am offering that i'm pretty sure i still have yeah i gotta double check but i'm pretty sure their healings are still open um and i am doing live stream readings this sunday okay um probably every sunday at this point we'll see we'll see uh, okay so let's take a look here for cancer 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 um what is happening what's the situation about with cancer and their person we have isolation. Interesting. I feel there are parts of this person, um, isolation and confusion, that you are very, very, very uh, much unaware of. I think that this leaves you very confused. Um, in fact, this confusion actually has like a little, like a little ghost there, really trying to understand what the person is going through. I feel um, you don't read this person well, and you've not been able to read this person well. And I think that there's a lot of themself that they pull back whenever they're around you that you don't really have access to. So I feel like you definitely know that they're holding back, um, keeping themselves isolated, keeping themselves at arm's length. Um, with the prayer here, you know what's interesting? Because it's very confusing energy, and I actually think that you probably find the situation very confusing. They seem to really want you to tear their walls down and really want you to get to those parts that they're hiding. And I know it sounds crazy, like, why are they hiding them? But this is someone who's very much open to that experience, but doesn't want to open themselves up to that experience. And that can be tricky because some people may think they want it and then they figure it out that they may not. So it's hard. I would trust your heart if you want to maybe, um, hmm, I guess burst, like, uh, like break their walls down. I don't, I wouldn't go that far, but, um, there is this feeling that's coming deep within the self from this person that they want you to come closer. They want you to get closer to them. And this feels like an emotional level. See at the bottom? Yeah, perseverance. They, it's interesting. I feel like they've had a lot of rejection in their life. And that rejection stems as far back as childhood experience. I see the mother actually being highlighted here. Um, they are looking for someone who won't give up right now and who will tear down their walls in a, in a sense. Um, so it's interesting um, that you have yourself in this predicament. I don't know how assertive you are, um, but it's not that they're looking for someone assertive. They're looking for someone who's not going to give up on them. And I think that they've had a lot of that experience lately um and probably throughout their life as a theme of people who just give up give up give up and that's actually why they want you to uh -huh. and i hate to say it like this i feel like you try a lot to try to, to like try harder or to keep trying i'm gonna leave a look now but we'll see we'll take a look we have rigid yeah i'm sorry it's just it's the funniest thing um yeah they're very much that jesus energy and then we have grief yeah it's from their past you have acceptance um th this is not a your problem it's a their problem and until this person actually learns to accept the self and be willing to open up and be more vulnerable i kind of think you're gonna be at a standstill you could do this um but i don't think you're gonna feel be too pleased at it uh i'm gonna leave it like that leave like that. I don't know if your heart's leading you to like, uh, get to those little parts that they're hiding. Right. I don't know if it is per se. I feel like you may want it. I actually feel like you probably do. Um, but know that this person has to go through this on their own, right. They have to learn to open up and this actually requires some healing, maybe some therapy as you what it feels like to me. We have trickery. It is, it's part of it. it. This person always feels like when they open up to people that they're tricked because people leave and they don't stick around. I think that this is actually a limiting belief that they have. Um, that actually, uh, let me believe where they feel like if they open up to someone, they have to stick around or stay there forever. I don't know. Some people have those, but if it, it is a limiting belief that is perpetuating this. All right. So let's take a look here. Metatron, Connie St. Jimmy, can you tell me, can I have some more energy here? Um, let's see, uh, what is happening here? Mm. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is the indecision here. I feel with justice in this reverse, every single time they feel like they just want to pursue you and pursue this connection, um, they actually start to get, uh, huh, they, they start to second guess themselves and remind themselves of what they've already gone through. There is a mother experience, like a motherhood issue. It could be an older sister, it could be an aunt, um, it could be a grandmother that actually is impacting this. I feel like it stems from that. But I think there's also past life roots. But with justice in this reverse here, they have to kind of wrap up those cycles and learn, not to learn a lesson, but I feel like give forgiveness. Um, 
And they haven't done that. So this is actually something that is impacting how they treat you. Um, and I know it's crazy that our past is why we treat people different, right? But it really is. Um, it really it really does impact things. I'm being reminded of this. I actually remember reading this a long time ago. Um, this, this is a stream of thoughts that they have coming through them right now. And these stream of thoughts make them think very negatively about you, life, and honestly, romance. I actually really want to emphasize romance because that's actually something that's impacting them a lot. Uh, let's see what else is happening here. We have the Ten of Swords, the Magician. Um, hmm. I feel... When this person sees, okay, I'm gonna give you an example. It is just, it's a good one. It's a good one that came through. You know, we always sometimes see our first love as someone that should just last forever. You know, that feeling where it's last forever and ever to the end of your life and it ends and you feel like it's the worst possible situation. But as time goes on, you realize, oh, that is a benefit for me. They haven't really come to that conclusion when it comes to their experiences from their past. You know, who uh, I don't know what that is. It's like closing out karmic cycles. It actually is I actually call it closing out karmic cycles. But I really do want you. I think you know, that, know what I mean. And I feel like a lot of us gone through that situation. Um, but this is someone who hasn't really come to that conclusion for a lot of their love scenarios. A lot of connections that they've made, they just see the negative rather than saying that was benefiting me even though I didn't know it at the time. With the magician here as well, I think that this actually impacts their communication with you and it limits them. I feel like you may actually have a very sexual energy coming from this person and it, this person loves you more than the sexual and the energy that they're giving off towards you with the, um, the wand here. I feel like it may seem like they only see you, desire you in that way. It's more than that. It's more. Um, there is apathy here, that's for sure. And then we have for the last card, the star in its reverse. They want to be someone who has hope when it comes to their connections. They're just not someone who, who quite frankly, has hope. Um, with the eight of wands and the star in its reverse, um, I actually feel like that sexual energy stops as well. But it is the one thing that they can sum up at times. So you may actually have this person flirting with you or touching you or even... Um, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, sorry, I don't. I, I feel like they may be drawing comparisons as well, but definitely that flirting. It's it's what they're able with, um, to do. It's like the capacity that they have. This person does have deeper feelings than they let on. Let's see what, what's going on here. I looked at their feelings. We have the tower reverse. They don't want to give them out, so they're keeping their feelings bottled up inside without actually expressing them. So it's very interesting. Um, this feels very volatile at times. I'm going to leave it there. It, it does feel like very volatile at times. Very, They can be very stingy um, and definitely not very giving. I think you know intuitively that this person is more generous than they let on and a lot more um, giving than they let on. And it could leave you very confused as well. So let's see. Um, I want to look at how this person feels about you. How do they feel currently about cancer? How does this person currently feel about cancer? Uh, let's see. We have the Nine of Cups in its reverse. They know that there's way more satiety, way more fulfillment here than they're accessing. It is a little disappointing to them, but I think they're too scared to open up more. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands. There's definitely a strong sexual attraction here, but this person, I feel, has a habit of moving very quickly in their relationships, which is often caused them to get burned. And it feels like they applied all those lessons that they... Um, feel benefited them um, to you. So they're trying to take it really slow to the point where I think you may find this person uninterested in you or like disinterested. I think that's the word. Um, let's see. We have the four of pentacles reversed. Interesting. <clears throat> All right. I got to pull a clarifier on that. The ace of swords. They don't know if they can open up to you yet. It's interesting. So I know that they want to. Uh, we have the wheel of fortune. Yeah. It's like they don't know if it's going to work out. A lot of people like to base their decisions on what they should do based on the end result. But they're not seeing the benefit they get from going through an experience. <laughs> a lot of people ask, what's going to happen between me and so-and-so or a situation? And you don't really get that answer per se. You don't. Uh, it's uh, it's not often. And the reason for that is we have to move to those experiences to learn something. Uh, we have the Five of Swords. This person here is going to walk away from your situation. And I really do want to emphasize this. I actually think this connection may not work right now. Um, and learning a very brutal lesson that they shouldn't be hmm, whew, um, holding back worried about the end result, right? The attachments to results. Um, and it's something that they have to walk away from right now. And the reason for this is that they have to look back and see what they, they missed out on. Very hard lesson to learn, but one I feel only distance will help this person see. With the Queen of Pentacles, 
I think you giving your all in a situation and giving way more than this person, but it feels like all, A-L-L, right, is going to help give you solace because you know they did it. And not that they, that's the point, but you know that you gave your all. So when you walk away, you don't have regrets. This person will. And it's kind of what I see your situation ending on. on. But then again, I have the two of cups right here. So I feel like this situation between this person could come back together. Um, it's not very clear yet, though. Um, the Empress is kind of what I want to pull as an outcome. I actually feel that you will attract this person back or attract someone that can give you that reciprocity that you're looking for. Know that this situation with this person, although brutal, painful, and probably quite annoying at times, um, was important for you to move through as well. Even though you may not have got them, you got what you needed to learn from it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. It's an interesting message to come through for cancers. All right. Mm -mm. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't want that deck. So Metatron, can you tell me, is there anything else, anything else about like what cancer needs to know? Um, I do feel like this person sees you as everything. So it's important you know that. All right. We have feelings. Yeah, this is the issue. They don't really show them. They're not really open with their feelings. And therefore, they are very limited in life as a result of this person not really having access to that gentleness. Okay. I feel... That this person is actually a very gentle, very soft-hearted um, person. Um, you may not know that because I think that they have this really uh, harder exterior. It's interesting. I see like a shell. Mm. Know that that's actually important. <laughs> All right. We have free spirit. They do want to be freed from that constraint, but they have to learn that they are the ones to free them, not love. And I know... I'm going to be real with you, right? I know I used to have that where I thought when I fall in love with, with someone, I will be able to open up completely and just have that experience. But we can do that now. We don't have to wait for special people to be our most authentic selves, special people to open up our heart. We can open up our heart now and have that experience. And this is someone who, where they have a limiting belief where they feel like they have to meet the right person before they do it. But they have to be the right person, right? Um, and this is where it's at. We have light. This is truth again. I don't know why I always get truth for light, but it is what it is. We have communication. Um, hmm. I think a change in communication communication style will help, but I think this person is looking to change how you how they talk to you. They just don't know how. I think that every time they try to tell their feelings, it kind of gets shut down or they're never quite able to do that. They feel like something is constraining their throat center. And right before I started the reading, that's what I felt. Um, I do feel they'll break free from it, but it will take this person time. It's interesting. I see the octopus energy. Um, I think that they're very much in their mind, head a lot. It needs to be more in their emotional body and their heart. Interesting. Very interesting messages. Different than I normally get. Let's get some guidance now. Can I have the guidance, please? Any last guidance or for cancer? And again, don't forget to like and comment. I do appreciate you all being here. Uh, let's see. Any guidance for cancer? We have awakened spirit. We have desire change. Um, this is kind of what I was feeling about the communication. If you do desire change here, change how you talk to this person. Try being more open, being more vulnerable. It's easy to show someone by doing it first and asking them to do it themselves. I know, I know, I know. It's real annoying, but it is what it is. We have between worlds, new direction. I feel if you start to open up to this person or... Um, you start to be more honest with yourself about this person, you will actually be heading a new direction in more ways than one, maybe with them, maybe without them. But I think you're ready for change, more change than you realize. We have a line, your universe, navigate distractions. Um, hmm. It's a flower. And then we have expansion, educate your mind and senses. And the overall is being spirit message, observe limitations. I feel, and this is going to be for everyone, some of you may be placing a limit on this person where it's them or no one, or you don't want them. Maybe the way they are. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that. I feel like it was the first one. Um, so let's set yourself free from limitations. Um, follow your heart always. Um, with this aligned universe, I think this is interesting. I feel you may be distracting yourself with what, who they could be rather than who they currently are. And this is actually going to, um, this may be holding you back more so than you realize. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like that. I want to thank you, Cancer. Don't forget to like and comment and take care. Bye.